for who's to say anyhow on that note let's uh, invite our next guest in dilip bhat joins in uh, he is joint md at prabhudas leeladhar dilip i'm going to start first with the bajaj twins because it's them they're really burning out the lights now uh, you know we're still awaiting numbers from bajaj finserve your thoughts on what finance has done yet again uh that stock at the current entry point if it if it's worth it and on finserve on insurance what sort of estimates are you baking in well i think uh both stocks really qualify as a part of your core portfolio and i think uh timing this stocks becomes extremely difficult but uh, very frankly the way uh we are seeing the growth especially in bajaj finance growth upwards of 25 30% and still maintaining a very decent roe of course it consumes a lot of capital uh, in the process so the capital adequacy ratio keeps on coming down and then you have a uh, further dilution in that but i think the numbers really indicate that they are really getting uh, a market share in a very big way and even in the in their existing businesses they are really consolidating in a very big way so i think with this 30 35% growth and uh, i think the numbers that they are talking uh, the numbers that they are talking about and even when you uh, listen to the management language i think it's pretty strong so without any doubt i think that this is a stock which one should have on in the portfolio and as well bajaj finserve is concerned that's another uh, great stock to own because i think the entire insurance business itself is in such a sweet spot at the moment i think the group uh, they are doing a fair amount of growth uh, i think for this particular month it's only hfc life in terms of volume which has shown a very good growth rest all of them have lagged behind but it's not a question of one month or two months i think bajaj finso still looks pretty good they don't require cash they are uh, once again reporting a very decent kind of roes and i think even the traction in the insurance side is uh, in the insurance side is extremely good and that's another stock i think which we feel that one should own we still feel that they will continue to grow at at least 20 22% cagr for next couple of years okay 5% and counting now on bajaj finance uh, really big uh, uh, big move what 2008 uh, on that one uh, dilip hi good afternoon uh, I, i wanted your thoughts on tvs motor uh it's already lost its mojo quite a bit but uh, post the numbers uh, at 580 is it a buy for you sure i think uh, the numbers were a little too disappointing uh, uh this time and i think even if you want to see the last one or two quarter it has not been all that great not as per what the market was expecting and with the kind of the price that there but surely i think tvs motor also i would say that maybe another 5 to 7% down but that is another stock one should have in the portfolio and one should own it uh, i think that's a uh, stock where we can see that the volumes will come back roaring and i think we'll continue to see a good traction in the volumes the visibility is uh, is pretty good and i think the perf- the financial performance will just follow so that's another stock i think in spite of some bad uh, in spite of some temporary setback in the expectations of the performance i think this stock has to be owned Okay all right gentlemen we have lots of other earnings to discuss lots of other stocks to talk about but right now we are getting into a quick absolutely and i think uh, it's very difficult uh, to justify or you know to see the logic behind this because we have seen these moves happening with all the major mnc's we have seen how nestle has also moved closer to 10000 after 6 to 8 months of setback uh, which they had or maybe maximum about a year when it went back as low as about 5000 and then it has gone back to almost 9 and half to 10000 now so i think uh, these are some of the moves very difficult to justify and in that sense i think itc still has a lot of points to score over rivers because they still have a good bottom line growth of around 20 22% a decent roe of 30% plus whereas rivers is not showing that kind of growth but they are showing a very high roe and that's also largely because of the dividend distribution and lack of investment being made by the company so i think there is a good stark difference but so be it i think uh, whatever is uh, whatever could be the final reasons but some of these mnc's continue to enjoy good uh, favor in the markets 
But I think it still remains our top pick, and I think that's a stock which can still deliver about 25-30% growth over the next 12-15 uh, to 15 months. Okay. Uh, by the way, some slight recovery on the Nifty Bank. We should pull up uh, HDFC Bank. That stock is trying to sort of kick off from the... Let's, uh, let's take some more thoughts from Dilip before we thank him. Dilip, uh, pharma stocks, a uh, bit of a short covering bounce today in some of them. Uh, anything that you would want to buy? <clears throat> well, I think pharma stocks have corrected in a very big way. So I think logically they should show some sharp bounce back and possibly some of that has happened today but i think it still remains just a bounce back because the secular trend in terms of performance still continues to be very muted and probably the trajectory is still on the downside as far as the performance is concerned so i think it will still be a couple of more quarters before things really stabilize and they start looking up maybe a one company here and one company there possibly maybe early on in the uh, recovery part and may start posting but as the uh, pharma pack as such i think including all the leaders whether it's lupin on a secular basis they still uh, don't inspire confidence but as what i said the way it has fallen there is some short bounce back due uh, overdue uh, now for some time by the way, the graphite stocks are also on the move. Graphite India is up about 7%. Uh, HEG, last I checked, was also positive. We will just uh, pull that up as well. Uh, any, uh, any interest in these stocks? I mean, uh, they haven't given much of an opportunity to enter. It's been a one-way rally, Dilip. And numbers, I mean, fourth quarter, you just can't complain either with the, the numbers or uh, with the commentary. You're absolutely right. I think uh, it's a very good observation. Because we are always in that dilemma that the kind of EBITDA they are showing, the kind of net profit they are showing, and consequently the kind of cash that they are generating, both the companies, and possibly it looks like that at least in the next couple of quarters should be exceedingly good in terms of the top line, in terms of the EBITDA, because most of the price increase is getting reflected in the increase in the EBITDA because it just flows into the EBITDA and then it flows into the PBT. So I think uh, that's really, we ourselves have been trying to catch up with some of these stocks, but somewhere, you know, you don't really feel so uh, courageous enough to buy some of these stocks, but without any doubt, the performance is something which is very inspiring, and possibly the scenario in Graphite will still continue for a couple of more quarters, maybe eight, uh, another uh, nine months or so. Okay, Dilip, uh, we let you go on that note. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, Always a pleasure. By the way. <laughs>